Hi kids, and welcome back to Itchy and Scratchy. No, I'm joking. And welcome to the best thing you watched this week. It's that week we've been dreading, uh, and I have to say it's not been my favourite week of uh, watching, at least. This is Clowns Week, our top five. You got Chris, kind of Chris. I don't know what he is at the moment. Chris the Clown, or Chris has been replaced by an evil entity clown. Uh, and Ruben, who's also been uh, replaced Movies and Munchies, the Ruby Tuesday, welcome to the best thing you watch, top five clown. Uh, should we pause or let's yeah. do our thumbnail? <laughs> yeah, okay, so I am, um, I'm old and I can't see anything because I have my glasses <laughs> off. So let me, um, <laughs> this is behind the scenes, everybody, but here we go. So I gotta, yeah, I gotta take this off so I can actually see something, but um, yeah. It'd be so bad if you it's pulled me. off and there was like no skin. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> oh, I can finally see. And wow, Ruben, your makeup looks amazing. What makeup? Uh, oh, that. Okay, <laughs> you've you've taken off your regular makeup, and <laughs> this is just this is just how I look in the morning. I'm sorry, <laughs> that was rude of me, wasn't it? <laughs> Your, your clownness. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. All right. Yeah, this week has not been something that I have been um, looking forward to at all. It's, it's no, e no, this is uh, – I have not enjoyed this week's viewing. I put it off pretty much the last minute, actually, to be fair. I uh, watched the ones I knew I needed to watch this morning. Watched a couple last night, and I've, I've, I've like, been dipping my toes into – the clown verse which is more vast than i realized and and i'm more disappointed in humanity than ever now yeah i agree with that it's there's and you know what i discovered if the, there is a lot of clown trash out there also oh my gosh so much i can't believe how bad some of those films yeah are. they i mean they went the way of you know, our animal themed horrors that they just got For sure. ridiculous. And um, I, I'm well, when we get to the list, I mean, one that borders on the <laughs> stupid, you know, did make it onto my list because it was just it. I don't know. Yeah. So should we just dive in? <laughs> Yeah, let's go for it. Um, obviously, we're probably going to have a few um, honorable mentions. Yes, yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna save my honorable mentions um, because I don't. Again, everybody, we we don't talk about our list beforehand, so I don't know what's on Ruben's. Yeah. Ruben doesn't know what's on mine, and so there might be overlap there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I don't want to steal thunder. <laughs> oh, that's just wrong. Okay, so I'm gonna go my number five. The so, yeah, ranking from uh, not worst, but to best is it's okay. it's called Stitches. Now, this yeah. is I have you seen this one? No, I saw it on the list and I was like, OK, well, it I don't yeah, want it's this one does border on that stupid because it's kind of a okay. comedy and it's kind of forced. And what you have is this this uh, just terrible person who's a clown he goes to a kid's party where um i mean he's a terrible clown but the kids are also terrible to him and so when he just is bombing at what he's doing the kids then are mean to him and through an accident he dies and it is bloody and it's gory and then there's this clown sac uh, not sacrifice ceremony that happens and what I, years later six years later really uh, the clown comes back to life and now he is there to seek his revenge on the now teenagers at a, at a party. It is, uh, it's ridiculous. Now this is one of those that, um, why the editor of a film should not be the same person that wrote and directed the film because they believe everything <laughs> is gold. Everything that they wrote was absolutely perfect and should stay in the... So you have scenes of people... Cut that. That's a wrap. We've got it in the, in yeah, the back. Everything. Every, every bit of footage that we shot, we need to keep. And so you just have... <laughs> oh there's, I mean, it's it, the sound is awkward. The the blocking, the all of the performances, for mm, not all, mo, almost all of the performances are really just, they're stiff, they're unnatural. The dialogue is very cringy. The thing, though, that this has got going for it 
is the practical effects. I was actually blown away by some of the stuff that they did with the practical <laughs> effects. I mean, it was just a lot of fun. They have um, one one guy um, is kind of turned into a balloon a little bit. Um, you know, balloon okay. animals kind of come into play a little bit. Um, hey, the Now, there is some CGI in this, and that is just terrible. Like, the g g guy's <laughs> nose comes off, and it runs around, and it sniffs to find out where the kids are. And from that angle, that's that's actually kind of unique, kind of creative. Uh, the execution of that, eh, not so much. But it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. It. it it's number five on my list for a reason because it's worth checking out, but you have to sit through a lot of cringe to get to something mm. really great. Now, when it when it is bloody and when the violence happens, it gets very gory and it's disgusting and it's like, ugh, that's gross. But it's always with this hint of laughability to it because it's not it's not utterly believable, even though it, it works in the context of everything else. So it's trying to be a horror comedy, and it's the comedy doesn't land. Um, it's not really even scary or tense. It's just it's it's gross. But then the the practical effects are the reason that you go, yep, okay, this was good. I had, I mean, I had fun with it. Not necessarily it was good, but <laughs> okay. Well, that doesn't sound as bad as some of the ones I've had to sit through this week. Honestly, when I get to them, we can talk about them because I've I've kept them in my honorable mentions of clown films to avoid this week. With <laughs> lovely, yeah. okay. So what what but, bottom of your list? <laughs> so bottom of my list, um, it made the top five. I, honestly, I found it difficult because there were so many, and and I I watched a few. I stopped watching a few. Not. Because I was scared, just because I didn't want to put myself through the, another worst film I've ever yeah. seen and, and make me really sad. So I th we briefly spoke about this. This one is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. It's it's my number five. It's on my list. Uh, it's my did number it, three. I, I see number three. Do you want to wait? Or do you want to talk about it now? We can talk about it a little bit now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Killer Clowns from Outer Space. A little bit of history. Directed by three brothers who is the only film they've ever directed, still to this day. They have worked a lot on, I think, The Simpsons, uh, which is one of the reasons why the clowns still have the same amount of fingers <laughs> that uh, The Simpsons characters have. Uh, positives. Okay. The, the clowns were actually scary. They were creepy. The designs are really just nasty. The story... Yeah. The story... <laughs> It's ridiculous, but what clown movie isn't I mean, ridiculous, right? The, but the title was uh, what sold me. I was like, "Killer Clowns from Outer Space." This is like Attack of the Giant Tomatoes mm -hmm. or, or something. Uh, yeah, I kind of loved it, but I also kind of hated it at the same time. I, I think you were meant to do that. They were ridiculous. I mean, it's a bad film. In no way is it a good film. Uh, in one shot, there's a guy coming out of the cabin. And uh, you can see the boom guy <laughs> operating just inside uh, <laughs> the, the the people that are captured by the clowns are turned into giant cotton candy floss sacks <clears throat> uh, <throat> for no reason. But then there was also one woman that was turned into a giant yellow balloon. And I, I never really understood why. Why was she special? Y why did she get the yellow balloon and not automatically turned into like putty for drinking? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't remember why she was spared the the edibleness. <laughs> Maybe she just wasn't edible. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> but I do love the ridiculousness of it. The sets were actually quite fun. You know, they really they they went for their. Uh, when they needed to do stop motion or a mix of animatronics and stop mm -hmm. motion, the you know the the little popcorn that moves across the floor, which is ridiculous and so much fun, and then grows into a sort of thing, you know, coming out of the the, the basket. Also, how did they get away with this being a PG thirteen? Because honestly, there were moments I was just like, holy crap! Yeah, man. I PG thirteen. Yeah, I don't know how they got away with that either. I think it must have just been the time. That it's, you know, it's just kind of coming into that. Or maybe they, they shaved off just, a, you know, the, like they're hedging right at the edge there of what, what they can get away with. <laughs> so what, what were your thoughts on this? Um, I loved the, the character design. 
and the rubber suits. I mean, they are ridiculous. Don't get me wrong. And they, they, they oh, yeah. look like giant rubber suits. But that was some of the charm with it, too, that they just, you know, as they walk along um, and they are creepy. I mean, it's just it has this level mm -hmm. of just ugh, because you have some that are really big, they are some that are tiny. Yeah. Um, I think about like that time where they um, they do the shadow puppet on the wall. I mean, <laughs> yeah. just <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> so creative as well. That, and that's really what I loved. I think I, when I first saw this, I went in thinking, oh, my gosh, there is absolutely nothing redeeming that is ever going to come from this other than the title, <laughs> you know, and. Yeah. I I ended up having a lot of fun with it. I mean, I've watched it two or three times um, since wow. I first saw it. And it's just one of those right. that it becomes a casual watch. I mean, it is silly and it is ridiculous. And I don't uh, I don't feel afraid in this one. But you're right. Yeah, there is that level of creepiness to it and just maybe a little unease. And I think some of it is just the um, the the combo of the character design, which I'm sorry, I don't want these giant headed uh, clowns coming after me or showing up at my door. But then mm. the fact that they drink or eat people yeah. and, and as a side note with a spoil. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you know, as, as a side note, and I, I think we're going to get into this more and more as we, as we dive in, but what the crap is up with the entire idea encircling clowns, eating people, Right. That, that's there's a there's a there's a law there. There is. I think. I th well, we'll go into yeah. that more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, for for killer clowns from outer space. I mean, it's it's a lot of it's one of those that it knows what it is. It is ridiculous. Um, it definitely has problems to it. But it also, I mean, if you enjoy watching something where where people put like, you know, the blood, sweat and tears into some character design and, and actually made these creatures come to life in a very convincing way. Now, sure. It's, it's just a giant costume, but dude, somebody made that costume costumes, you know, it just, I, I, yeah. It's the sort of film I could see people dressing up, going to a theater, like the Rocky horror picture, picture show. And just really like getting into the zeitgeist of the cult classic that it's become. Oh, uh, but would you want to go to that show? Fun with it. Oh no, no, no! I'm not going to that. I said <laughs> them, no, no, not me. They, <laughs> others. <laughs> As, yeah. Although saying that, I am currently clown. Yeah, well, so. but it has a purpose, right? I mean, <laughs> yes, it does. Have you gone to the shops to or anything children. yet today? I need to, I think, before I take uh, it yeah, yeah. Maybe Cause... stroll by a park or something just to... <laughs> just sit just, on the bench. Just read yeah. a book. It's just, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there, well, there was a thing going on in the U.S. a couple of years ago where... And in California. Yeah. I mean, I think it sprouted yeah, up in, is... in different places, too, where... Yeah, but I think Russia had started oh, it and it got dark. Like, people running at you with chainsaws because in clown costumes... Uh, I'll have to find it and send it to you. But I was in Home Depot one night around around um, Halloween time. <laughs> Story time. Yeah, exactly. Well, and it's just Ooh. it was some random like Tuesday night in um, in October. I think it was October. That would make sense, sort of. But walking down the aisle <laughs> of Home Depot is a guy dressed in a clown outfit. <clears throat> Over his shoulder is an axe. The dude is full on buying an axe. I took pictures. The, the clown, the dude in the clown suit is buying an axe. Yeah. You took pictures. I would have left. Well, I, I, I did keep my eye on him, but I think I took pictures because of evidence of <laughs> if, if we're murdered, this is who it was. <laughs> who needs a movie when you have the real thing in home? Yeah, it was wrong. It was just okay. wrong. Anyway. Okay. I did a digress here. <laughs> All right. What's your number four? Uh, number four. This one is from 1989, and it is, um, I watched it, it, actually, my wife and I had watched it when we were in high school, and she wasn't my wife at the time, but we were dating, and uh, we watched it with a bunch of friends, and it was it was creepy at the time. We've recently uh, found a way to revisit it, and it's not, um, it's not as creepy, but it is Clown House, 
and it is, I believe, Sam Rockwell's first motion picture. Wow, that's a, a seal of approval right there, if anything. Right? See where Sam's done. Yeah, he, um, he's a terrible person in this. I mean, he plays uh, one of three <laughs> brothers. He's the oldest. Uh, the dialogue is really cringy, but there's the premise is that uh, these boys live at this house. Um, it's kind of it's kind of secluded, and the mom and dad are both out of town for business, whatever. And so it's around Halloween. But in the midst of this, a three mental patients or three patients have broken out of a mental institution. And, um, now when you're listening later on, there's a tiny little blurb on the radio that's playing like as a news report. And I got to read it because it was, mm. um, okay. So it's <laughs> the news report says that the mental patients escaped because they were denied their circus privileges. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just, just, nice. just, that's stupid. That's stupid. But anyway, the, the, the patients go, uh, because why wouldn't you? The kids go to a circus, um, and the the mental patients then visit the circus. They because they're deranged. Supposedly, they kill the clowns. They dress up at the clowns, and then now they're going to torment people. Which the tormenting of the people is the three brothers, and uh, the youngest brother is just terrified of clowns, rightfully so. Um, but he gets this. Um, he wins at one of the circus games. He wins this doll that is a clown doll, and it has this just. <laughs> laugh to it it's like no that nope gotta go you can't that not do not bring that home and so <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it that's not right okay, yeah cool. so there is a there's a there's a level of chase to this that um mm. that that's pretty good there's kind of it's not it's not gaslighting uh per se but it's almost like unreliable narrator or even more so a um when you have a character that nobody believes, even though they have not mm. shown themselves to be unreliable, you know what I mean? They just, um, yeah. so the youngest brother is never believed by his older brothers. And so they, they you know, so he, the, the youngest brother sees the clowns and the, ye, ye. and so anyway, the, the chase ensues. Some of the camera work is great because you'll have this house is, um, it's like three stories and there's all kinds of different, uh, stairwells that go or stairways that go. And so, you know, they crisscross and everything. And so it's a big house, which allows them to kind of Scooby do it and chase through the house. And, you know, you never know where somebody could be hiding or anything else. And the camera will follow that. And so you will watch the camera just chase, even if there's nobody there. So we become, or the camera becomes us in part of that running. And so it becomes, it's a little tense. I mean, it's, it's unsettling. I don't think I was ever scared with it. Uh, but you're like, mm, that, mm, no, no, that stop. Don't look there. Don't look there. You need to get out, get out, get out. Don't hide under there. I mean, you know, you're, you're yelling at the TV for that. Uh, there <laughs> is a, um, there is a scene in, in it, not it, but this movie where the kid walks past the window. And as he walks past a clown on the outside is mirroring him and it's, mm -hmm. yeah. It's just, but what's funny is that exact same thing happens in stitches the movie that I, that was my oh, number five. So I, I don't know if that was an inspiration or if they saw that, or if that just happenstance, you know what I mean? It's probably not the first time that this has ever happened, but just watching the two, you know, match step for step as they go through. And then the, the character that were, you know, our, our protagonist is like, <laughs> Did I exactly you know and then they keep going on their way and then bad things happen yeah. so it's um if you can find it it is it is worth checking out it is um it doesn't totally hold up i mean you know it's it, it has very 1989 feel to it the um the writing is pretty bad the dialogue is is bad and it's good to see where sam rockwell came from and how much more mm. he has impressed improved because <laughs> I mean, he's pretty. Oh, he! I, I think he makes every movie that he's in better. I mean, I'm a massive yeah. Sam Rockwell fan, so that's not a slight to him. And you got to start somewhere. This just uh, he over Absolutely. he overacts in this. He's not um, he's not wonderful at all. 
Uh, but yep. he, I mean, that's fine. Every I think every actor does a few that just yeah. aren't great. Yeah, and he's a kid at this one too. I mean, he's not he's not super old, yeah. so you know it's forgivable. But I mean, look at Johnny Depp in um, Nightmare on yeah. Elm Street, the first one. That <laughs> it's yeah, it's not really acting; it's screaming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So yeah, well, that's an interesting one. Uh, so that's your number, number four. four. Yes. What's yours? Yeah. So there. If you if you follow uh, horror groups like I do on Facebook, they're you know they're often saying, "Hey, have you seen this?" And sometimes there's a there's a a few threads that you will follow that are clown ones. Have you seen this one? What's the best clown movie? This is one that keeps cropping up, and people say, "No, you really have to." And I normally go, "No, I'm I'm good." But this, I was like, "Okay, now I kind of have to." Let's see what this is about. And it's actually a fairly it's a newer one. It's 2016, directed and written by Damien Leone. Uh, never heard of him before. Probably will never watch anything by him again. Uh, it's called Terrifier. That's my number one. Have you... <laughs> oh, is it? Okay, let's wait. Okay. <laughs> let's let's do your number one, and we'll we'll just skip to my number three. I think. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, that's funny. Okay. Again, see, we we don't Very we don't share our list, so. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to, yeah, my number three is a bit of a, <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's not really a clown movie, uh, it's actually a superhero movie, uh, but it has a clown in it for pretty much the whole movie. Okay. It came out in 1997 and is called Spawn. Have you seen Spawn? Oh, is this with um, John Leguizamo? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, as the clown. I, I, yeah. I I haven't seen it since, um, since it first came out. So I'm a massive fan of Spawn. I love the anime. I love the comic books. The film isn't great. Um, it it's not really true to, to the, to anything really <laughs> from Spawn. But there are a lot of fun moments in it. And Michael J. White as Spawn uh, was great. I wish we could see him in a, a well, you know, better scripted film. You got Martin Sheen uh, who, in this was who was excellent. But the standout, without a doubt, was John. Uh, how do you Le pronounce Leguizamo? his name? Leguizamo. Leguizamo. Thank, thank you. As this fat demon oh, clown. Yeah, I just looked it up. And man alive, he just choose the scenery there is a moment that's always when people mention spawn they'll be like oh do you remember that scene with the clown when he's eating the pizza and it's got anchovies on it he's picked it out from the bin and uh, it's got anchovies and maggots this is crawling with maggots and he goes oh i hate these and he flicks off the anchovies and then eats the pizza with the maggots and you're like oh that is john like, imagine sid the sloth but really evil <laughs> Because Sid the Sloth is, is him. Um, and just always ca cracking like the dumbest, bad and risque jokes in Spawn. He's that kind of sidekick that you don't really want, that you kind of love to hate. But his character was great. And eventually you see what he becomes. Like he's basically, he reveals himself to be this massively strong, powerful mm -hmm. demon um, in this clown costume. And he was creepy and weird enough for you to go, yeah... I know you're not right, but I kind of love watching you on screen <laughs> <laughs> because you're so wrong. Uh, and yeah, so he's my number three. So not really a clown film, but he's in it the whole movie with Spawn. He's kind of the guy that teaches Spawn how to deal with his powers, really. Uh, yeah, so I, I'll consider that a clown movie. Yeah, if you have if you have a, <laughs> a major player that's a clown, it's a clown movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I saw the image of him just now, and then get mm, mm, mm. no, yeah, not right <laughs> yeah. at all. <laughs> All right. Uh, so where does that put us? You did, I'm, so you're number three then. I think. Well, that was Killer Clowns. So we're at All my right. number so two. You're number <clears throat> two. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, this one simply enough is titled Clown. Oh, okay. This is uh, my number oh, one. Okay. Well then. Uh, <laughs> well, let's do it. Yeah. Because wait. Yeah, because that was my three. Wait, but let's do your two. Sorry, okay. people. I, this is this is riveting entertainment, isn't it? <laughs> as we as we figure out our math. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So go ahead and do your number two, so that we can both then do our number ones. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> We're so well prepared. Yeah, that's, 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 
I mean, we are prepared, but it's just weird. Okay, so my number two is possibly the worst film I've ever seen, and it, it's it's terrible. Okay. It's also terrible that it's not good, but it's my number two because it's terrible, and I don't understand how this movie got made and why people gave them money. And it's the, oh, next to Terrifier. I think it's the goriest film I've mm. ever seen. It's called Clown Nado. Oh, I watched the trailer for this and I just couldn't do it. <laughs> I mean, the dialogue, the scripting is awful. None of the film makes sense. There's barely any clown naders, which is what sold oh. me on that. And when you do see the clown nado, it's an after effects thing which they slapped onto the screen that they haven't even really stretched out enough to be a clown nado. It's just there on the side of the oh. screen. <laughs> Okay, so all of the the special effects are bad, except for the practical effects, which are ridiculous. Like, talk about body horror. You know, there's bits of body everywhere. Think from Dust Till Dawn, sort of, you know, people playing uh, bodies. Uh, Somebody else wearing other body parts. You see spines, you know, exposed. uh, It's just... It's nasty, but it's so ridiculous. You kind of want to watch it because you don't know how bad it's going to be next. So every scene you're watching is like, how can this possibly get worse? Why is she alive again? I don't get the law of this film. (laughs) You just have questions upon questions. Uh, The acting. Oh, my gosh. Like, I know sometimes you're in films like this to act badly, like on purpose. But it, it... they're trying to act like it's an old-timey detective film. So they're speaking like, you know, honey, like like the one of those black and white oh, films. That that doesn't match the yeah. aesthetic at but all. But it, it doesn't it doesn't match the aesthetic at all. Uh, it also feels like they've dubbed it over the actors that are obviously English speakers. Uh, it's 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 a work of art because it's it's just what is this film? Uh, okay, so that's that's my number huh. two. Don't watch this film. Yeah, <laughs> I, well, I think if you watch the trailer, that will be enough. Um, actually, you know what? Yeah. I'm not sure I watched the entire trailer. I <laughs> we, <laughs> yeah, that that is basically. Yeah, I was yeah. we were scrolling through some movies last night just to be like, ah, what should we watch? Because there was a couple that that I wasn't sure if they were going to make the list or whatever, you know. And um, I I ended up not watching them because even though there were clowns on the title or not on the title, excuse me, just on the cover or something. When I watched like the trailer, it didn't really have clowns in it. And so, or they Mm. were in there just as a, as a minor piece. So it really wasn't a clown movie. It was just, you know, the horror that actually happened to have a clown. But anyway, that was one of them, the clown NATO. And again, I clicked on it because of the title. Cause how can you not? Why wouldn't you? Like I love Sharknado. Clownado. It It isn't obvious. Works even, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, you know what? I'm going to do um, a couple of honorable mentions. I'm going to do honorable mentions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Good mine idea. are um, all three it's. Um, I think. What? It. Th- three? Uh, well, the original Tim Curry version. And then right. the. And then, oh, and then part yeah, one, too. Yeah. Um, oh, okay, cool, <clears throat> cool, cool, cool. As, as different takes on the same story. And, you know, the. Mm. Gosh, Tim Curry version. I mean, it was a television miniseries when I was, mm-hmm. you know, the kid. And I had it on the uh, video. Did you so, really? Yeah. Oof. yeah, no, yeah. I remember. I mean, it was that was that was nasty and scary and not right at all. And uh, Tim Curry, uh, man, genius. he was brilliant at it. I mean, he uh, uh, mm. he really crafted a gnarly Pennywise. Uh, and then to think, you know, I mean, for for that time, too some of the effects that they did Mm. and you know i'm not sure how much of it actually holds up from an effect perspective you know no have you ever read the book i have not um we have it and it's like that thick (laughs) it is like that and there's some dodgy parts that they left out on both both versions right yeah that yeah both versions. yeah my (laughs) wife started reading it and that's where she was like oh gosh wow they this was not in the movie yeah, yeah, for a good reason. Yeah, exactly. So that you know, and I, I enjoyed the 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 more recent chapters that they did. Um, I thought it was um, there were some very creepy moments to it. Some really good, you know, make your hair stand on end a little bit. 
Um, I like Skarsgård. I think, I mean, all the Skarsgårds, they're ridiculously talented. Yeah, yeah. And the thing that he does with his eyes, that's just not right and human. Yeah. So that, yeah. yeesh. Yeah, <laughs> but. And let's say that the, the, the spider looked better in the newer version than <laughs> Correct. the original one, which is just like, it, it does feel like sometimes Stephen King gets these end of his stories and like, I'm bored now. Monster. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's that's a lot of with his uh, probably the biggest criticism that I ever have with his books is sometimes he just doesn't know yeah. how to stick the landing there or how to wrap it up in a way. Uh, okay. I've got another idea. Like, let's, big alien yeah. head, <laughs> giant boulder. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, uh, but anyway, yeah. I mean, I think uh, to have a clown list and not have it on there. Absolutely. So, what yeah. are what are some of I your agree. honorable mentions? Some of my honorable mentions. Um, two to avoid, one called Fun House Massacre. Okay. Um, it's, okay. it's okay, but it's like you will forget it in T minus. I've already oh, forgotten it. Bummer. It's, okay, so it doesn't do do well in <laughs> that. Uh, there's one called Dead Silence. That's very early James one. Uh, it's 2007 and has a clown puppet. So it's it's a yeah it's a puppet, but it has a clown face. And it's based on the Mary Shelley and Billy poem, apparently. And I thought that was it was pretty good, actually. Um, a lot of people has got really low ratings on Rotten Tomatoes, like 38 and I think 58 for the audience. I didn't mind it. Uh, and I think I mentioned recently to you that we've been going through Buffy the yeah. Vampire Slayer. And uh, we reached episode nine um, of season one. And I totally forgotten. Uh, it was a nightmare episode where your nightmares come to yeah. life. And there was a like, big segment with this guy with like classic puppet makeup uh holding a, a stabby stabby knife but behind plastic sheeting in a school with the lighting like that and just running at you going <laughs> and calling your name like hi chris <laughs> yeah no no that um really good creepy episode um creepy clowns and fear of clowns are two films that are terribly made okay that are on prime Amazon. If you want to watch a terrible film, uh, that is just bad the whole way through. <laughs> not scary. Oh, just terrible. Just, just, just no, they're just, just oh. terrible. They're not so, they're not like a good, they're <laughs> good. They're not bad. Good. They're bad. bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> so those are my mentions. <laughs> Maybe not honorable. All of them. <laughs> yeah. They just mentions. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, okay. So my number one, terrifier um now i know that art the clown has made other appearances um and i think terror oh has he i didn't yeah know there was oh that's uh there, there's a movie called all how all hallows eve and uh I, and i don't remember if that one is a short and then they made all hallows eve into a longer movie or if if there was right. a short of terrifier but either way I mean, just the dude that dressed up, just the makeup, the full white, the creepy, the, just his. It's the little <clears throat> hat that he adds on. It's just, yeah. And the uh, miminess. Yeah. Yeah. The Because he doesn't speak for a lot of it, it's just, there. it's wrong. I mean, it's just nasty. And this is a very, very, very bloody and gory uh, movie. And there is a kill in it. Where and I don't remember if this or Bone Tomahawk came out first, but they both <laughs> share a kill, and it is not right from bottom to top, upside down, and and I think oh yeah, well actually yeah, yeah. both of them they saw, but he's oh, just it no it yeah, um, and then the fact that. Uh, to, well, that's a spoiler. I won't get into that. But um, Art the Clown is not necessarily, um, well, he's human, but he's not. It, it, is he? It's a human like he is Michael Myers. Human. Yeah, kind of like that. I mean, he's not He's not easily stoppable. I think I'll leave it at that, that he, um, mm. you know, and just that the chase. Now, now, some of the dialogue in this is terrible. I mean, it's, it's very... <laughs> But it, it's it's modern, but it's filmed like it's almost on cassette, like it's B-horror. Yeah, yeah, and it does have that B-horror feel, feel to it. 
Uh, but it worked um, for me. You know, I just I ended up having a lot of fun with it. And um, and the, the gross out factor, I think, really plays into this where you, you know, you you combine just gnarly kills with the clown who doesn't talk much and just. <laughs> there's a there's a scene where he's on the tricycle, too small tricycle. And he's going around in circles. <laughs> And he's just because his knees are massively high and he's not making a sound. And the woman's trying to escape, but she can't. And then she has to peer around the corner and he's doing that thing like with his head, but he's still going around in circles. And I'm just like, why am I watching this? When they have that detached look to them, you know what mm. I mean? Like there's it's a level of confidence and it's a... Um, Con well, confidence, I guess, maybe is the right word for it or the best word for it, where or determination, where they know what they're going to do with you or to you, mm. what they're going to do with you. Yeah. And they know that they don't necessarily have to rush to get to it. You know what I mean? That there's a there's a deliberate pace that they have to it, but it's also like, mm -hmm, I'm coming to get you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And really enjoying it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that's what terrified me in Terrifier. Uh, there's this one scene where she's there's a one of the ladies that she's decided to to haunt over this Halloween Eve. Uh, I think he chases three, uh, and one of them he's got on a table, and he's got this like little hammer, and he keeps taunting his victim like that. Most horrors or stuff, they were like, "I got this weapon, and here we go. I'm just gonna start cutting off fingers, and you know." Put it in a little bit of a stew, make a nice meal out of it, you know. <laughs> but that went he's like, did it? I don't know. Maybe it's the clown makeup. <laughs> and he's just like, no, not this one. And then he like goes back to his tools, and he's like, oh, how about the saw? And then you, and, and then she stops breathing, and he waits for her to calm down. And then he goes, he's got his new exhibit to show her. And I'm like, I thought I couldn't get any worse. But this is worse. This is way worse. It's diabolical. <laughs> I mean, it's just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's his teeth as well. And, and the whole, the, yeah. Ah, the yeah. whole. Yeah. Costume. When it has that, um, cause he's not really, he's more of that, uh, gosh, what is it? Is it a French type of clown? Or maybe like you said, mine. Yeah, it's not it's, so traditional. Yeah, it's not traditional yeah. clown. Like you see, you know, with the red curly hair and the, um, you know, it, it, it mm. Not mm -hmm. right. Not right at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is why it's your My number, number one. one, yes. Wow. Yeah, no, I can I can see why. Uh should we go to mine? Please. Yes. <laughs> we keep we still have to talk about more clowns. <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> okay, so mine is called Clown. It's a two thousand fifteen film. And uh I have to say this is the best clown film I've seen that scared the crap out of me, but also has a really good story. I thought the story was excellent, which is why it's at my number one. It's the first time I've ever seen a lore story about clowns, which gives you an origin of clowns, which is somewhat believable. Mm -hmm. And you're like, ah, yeah, that actually makes sense to me. I don't know if it's true, but uh, like it, it could be. Like, I totally believe it. Like, if you go into the original law of Father Christmas or Krampus and you see kind of like the, the Nordic beliefs and the gods and where they come from, you know, the half demon, whatever, don't do anything bad, you know, get those colds. And, and you, anyway, so you, you, you take a bit of law and then suddenly you're like, oh my gosh, this makes much more sense. And so you have this clown demon costume and the transformation from father to demon is incredible. You're, you're rooting for the guy to overcome it. Uh, but at the same time, this film is breaking rules that you're not allowed mm -hmm. to touch kids. And uh, it just it doesn't show it, but it kind of does. Like you see the munchings and crunchings and uh, <laughs> it's so gross. Yeah, yeah. And I love that the dad is conflicted through it even when he's transforming that you that you see mm. him fighting and some parts of him pop out a little bit to be like no Ugh. no no just lock me up or whatever and then poof, the, yeah. the oh yeah. yeah it was it was actually a lot of fun i thought it was like it was a good movie it was a proper horror 
uh, I, I think they used a lot of practical effects for the transformation, which is great. Uh, the gore was there, but I think they got away with some of what they could do because it's kids. You have to be very careful. Uh, but because they, the way they show it, I, I think um, they got away with that. And then uh, at the end, you're just like, hmm, okay. Yeah, yeah. I um, I was rooting for for a different <laughs> ending the whole time. Mm -hmm. You know that, yep. that I, the, and I think that's that's the beauty of this story. That you're right. The story is amazing. I mean, it's really well done because of that that backstory that they give and all of that background on the lore. And like mm -hmm. I had, it made me want to go and check it out. I didn't exactly. You know, that. I, I didn't yeah. because that terrifies me, and I'm not sure I really want. I don't want that in my search history. Thanks. Exactly. Yes, <laughs> but just even the the fact that you know this um, the the cloin you know and how it was forgotten yeah. and now it has become it's like i i was like this makes yeah, sense yeah <laughs> it really does and you know and it's not the um i mean it uses the the movie it the story it uses children as food as a as a thing yeah. but that's also feeding off of fear this is actually feeding yeah. off of children that that yeah like mm -hmm. This is like the, the, the most succulent meat as kids are going to have. Yeah. Kids, man. yeah. And then you find out when you find it, like uh, Peter Stamari is, is in this mm. and he, I love him. Just the, what he brings to characters. He's great. And he's, he's slightly unhinged. Well, sometimes very unhinged. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, and because of people not taking a moment to stop and listen or explain or have a conversation, bad things happen after that. And yeah. so, you know, the situations arise with him and, and progress, but I loved hearing why he knows so much about this and all of this. But then there's a darkness with it as well. And yeah, yeah the way the way there's a no, okay. no, go for it. I was going to say there's a section where the wife is trying to help her husband yes. and she's doing some research on her own and she comes across the a video cassette. Yes. She starts watching kind of like what has happened and the reason why. And that bit is terrifying the way it, it, it showed. Like, I was like, oh, my gosh, is, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. When we see the imagery of that, it was like not not good. But I loved even like you had mentioned the practical effects. I mean, as he's you know, he's got the wig on that becomes his hair and the nose. Yeah. Uh, and the, even. Even the, the the story progression of when they finally get that fake nose off of him and what happens and the ramifications yeah. later on with that nose, you know, that yeah. was absolutely it pretty. really yeah. was because more more often than not, it's just whatever, you know, it tossed aside, forgotten or whatever. But this had an actual consequence to it as well. And. Yeah. yeah, as as they're ripping it off and or when he when he's trying to cut off the suit and he, you know, he, Oh. And and he puts the saws all down his I'm I'm like I was yelling at the TV. I'm like, dude, that why are you starting there? You already had bad bad when you tried to do it here. Mm -hmm. But he even said, This is a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, if you know why wouldn't you start like at your leg where you can where you can uh. see it, you can get some good angles with it, you know what I mean? So I just because it's not as tense if you do it that way. I know. I mean, I understand why, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one though. I mean, it really. Um, I think though, the the trailer for it is more terrifying than the movie was. I mean, I haven't seen the trailer. So okay. I remember when the trailer came out, and that was where I was like, "Oh, I'm very intrigued to see this," and yet I don't ever want to come near this film because it's just <laughs> wrong, you know. And I wasn't. I wasn't really afraid, afraid with this movie. I mean, I was creeped out and I was, you know, disturbed by it a lot, but it wasn't, um, I think it was more of the atmosphere from it where I was just like, yeah, I think the story was just great. Yeah, I get it. Like, it's not, it, it had scary moments and the, and the monster, and, but you're more horrified for the family. Like you, you, you want them to survive what has happened. To exactly. Them. That's totally it. Yeah. So it, um, Anyway, I that very good choice. That's um yeah, and you're right. I think I think looking at it from a story perspective, like on all of my list, this one is the it was hands down the best story also. 
just from from the writing yeah. standpoint. I was happy I found a good clown movie. It's like, oh, they do exist. Yeah. You know? They're not all like terrible or, or funny, cheesy because it's good or just horrific. Like, because I would class Terrifier as body yeah. horror B mm-hmm. movie. Like, it is just, it's on my list because I know it's so gruesome and gory. There's a part where he's wearing another person's body and I'm just like, Ooh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But I wouldn't class it as a good story. It, it's pretty generic, I guess. You kind of you've we've seen those sort of serial killer films before, um, but for practical gore effects, yeah. it's incredible. Um, yeah, but as in story, I think Clown. Yeah, it's it's very good. I am happy though that we've reached the end of our top five. I am too. This the yeah. This was a this was a tough week. Um, and like we've said, you know, clowns, there's just something not right about them. And <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm glad we're, I'm glad we're past this because next week we are doing our top five comedic horrors. And so on, on a, yes. So I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this one. I've got a few on my list already that, and, and some keep jockeying back and forth in position. So I'm, I'm looking yeah. forward to our discussion because I think there's a lot of them on there that that really do lend themselves. And I think humor with terror or horror play really well together because it, it balances out the tension and can actually accentuate the horror aspect when done correctly. I think it's my favorite type of horror, the, the comedy horror, because I can deal with it. <laughs> you give me a little bit of levity, a couple of, couple of minutes to breathe and then chuck me back in. Yes. I'm good. Absolutely. To go. Absolutely. And there, <laughs> there are some gems in there. So, uh, we hope, you know, next week that you'll tune in as well for that. Um, mm. uh, yeah. And so, I, hey, you know what? We're going to wrap up our um, our top five uh, clown horrors. <laughs> Just the... what what's all your top five? Like, I'm sure because there's hundreds and the list is endless. Yes. Let us know in the comments. What what are your top five? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to watch all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I might watch the trailer. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, definitely. Yeah, I would love to know because I know there's some there's there's got to be more out there that we're missing, you know, that um mm. that even and good Exactly. Well. Yeah, even that aren't on a streaming platform. Maybe they're just not accessible right now, you know, or that you you can only mm. purchase them. Absolutely. Hey, that that's totally great. I would just love to know cuz I can put it on the list, you know, and that way mm. uh, at some point check them out. But uh Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, uh, we're going to do our best thing we watched this week in the podcast. Um, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to be speaking about Dune and some other things. So, you know, sure. you can uh, check it out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Anchor FM, wherever you want it. Oh, that's just wrong. Uh, <laughs> wherever you listen to your podcasts. Uh, we would love to have you over there as well. Uh, I'm Chris with Movies and Munchies. As you see, the disturbing look of I that used to be Ruben with the Ruby Tuesday. I don't know who's there in his spot, but uh, please go over. <laughs> Yikes. All right. With that, we'll let you go, and <laughs> we'll see you again next week. <laughs> <laughs>